for Hamilton, this is a momentous day indeed. Uh, not only is it our 175th birthday anniversary of the incorporation of the city of Hamilton, but we have a, I think, a fantastic downtown, downtown precinct entertainment uh, investment. PJ Mercanti has big plans for First Ontario Centre now that his group has a 49-year lease. We're looking at a minimum of $50 million uh, into the arena, $10 million into the convention centre for a renovation and modest expansion, and $2.5 million into the concert hall. So the total is a $62.5 million investment. Mercanti's Carmen's Group has already been running the convention centre for seven years. We had been successful in eliminating the city's operating subsidy at that venue, and we're honoured to steward these three venues. He says the business case for building an entertainment precinct downtown Hamilton is sound. We believe that we will be able to activate these assets uh, differently after the investments are made. Uh, and attract more events, more business into Hamilton with renovated assets. The exterior facade will have an enhancement, a new video board. There will be some investments uh, inside the arena as well at the various concourse levels. Renovations hopefully get underway next year. The arena is home to the Hamilton Bulldogs, the Honey Badgers, and now Toronto Rock. As part of the deal, the Precinct Group takes over ownership of three city properties, including the York Boulevard Parkade, which is across the street from the Farmer's Market. They also get the parking lot across the street on Vine, and they get the building at York and Caroline, where Community Living is currently headquartered. We certainly do look forward to working with Community Living in a, in a, in a um, mutually beneficial uh, relocation. Precinct Group says those newly acquired properties will become housing, including some affordable housing with some business space mixed in. In essence, there's an exchange here between uh, three properties uh, in exchange for a series of liabilities. The city says it didn't make much money on the properties it gave up. The York Boulevard Parkade has a sizable backlog in capital needs. Uh, so by transacting that site, the city would actually be saving additional money on that front. And it costs taxpayers more than $150 million a year in subsidies to keep the entertainment facilities afloat. Money now considered savings. We see more cranes downtown right now than we've seen in decades and anticipate more uh, coming through this agreement. Once we're past the predominance of this pandemic, that uh, people will be yearning for entertainment. In another part of the deal, the city will offer grants to attract businesses to the new entertainment district. Lisa Hafner, CHCH News.